Welcome back to another episode of Consciously Clueless. I'm your host, Carly, and I'll be your guide on this journey from consciousness to cluelessness and back around again. Thanks for joining me for another Sunday solo episode. If it's Sunday night and you're getting ready for the week, Monday morning, you're on your way to work, or whatever day this podcast has found you, I'm really glad you're here. So I want to share something that I have been thinking about that seems now like such a mundane revelation to make, but I'm going to share it anyway. So let me give you some context so you'll know what the heck I'm talking about. I don't know about you, but I've always understood people to either be, you know, early bird gets the worm or whatever it is, um, a morning person or a night owl, someone who stays up all night. I have for years and years and years and years and years been a morning person and not just a morning person, but I like annoyingly love mornings. I've annoyed many a roommate, many a partner because I want to get up really early and I want to meditate and I want to stretch and I want to take my time and I want to make breakfast and I want to work on personal stuff or I want to read. Like I just love having all that time in the morning and I always have. Even in college, it was hard because I really loved getting up at like 5 a.m. to study or work on projects and go to bed really early. And that's not always the norm with roommates and stuff. So yeah, that's that's how much of a morning person I am. But in the last two years probably, I've been struggling this with this idea of not being a morning person anymore. And that sounds really silly because it's just a time of day that you are more alert. It doesn't have to be tied to your identity. But I really liked talking about my morning routine and saying I'm a morning person and all of that. And that completely changed my sleeping schedule. When my depression got really bad again, I was constantly sleeping, like just constantly sleeping or not sleeping at all. So it was literally like I feel like I would be awake for days or I would be sleeping for days and there was like no healthy in between. So that really obviously completely effed with my sleep schedule and that threw everything off. Going back on more of a health and wellness path when I tried to kind of get back into doing more routines and everything did help. But in terms of really starting to feel my sleep change again, it was going on antidepressants, which I'm glad I did. And it is a good solution for many of those things for now. But one of them is sleep. And I was slowly starting to get my sleep schedule back. I was actually doing pretty well. And then I got this virus, like mono or mono, they never really were sure. Talked about that before in the podcast. That was, I think, end of November, December, some of January, I was feeling better. And then I had the kidney stone episode from a couple weeks ago. So needless to say, that really sounded like woe is me. But basically, I'm just proving my point that my sleep has been absolutely effed. And I was really starting to get, I don't know, frustrated with myself or just kind of feeling bad or feeling like, well, this is a sign you're not really yourself right now still because I cannot for the life of me get up in the mornings like I used to. It is so hard to get up at 6 a.m. and do my morning routine. It's so hard. At this moment, it is 1030 at night when I am recording this podcast, which is crazy for me. And I'm super alert and I'm like feeling pretty productive and working on business stuff. And so I just about a week ago had this moment where I realized once again how I was making life so much harder on myself than I needed it to be. Because here I am being frustrated talking to friends, talking to my therapist and just being like, it's just, I'm not me. I'm not a morning person right now, so I'm not me. And just being really attached to that, 
to realizing, and this is even silly to say out loud, but we all do this in certain things, to realizing that I could just say that my sleep schedule was changing. Like maybe I'm just changing in my pattern a little bit for right now. As long as I'm getting sleep, which I am, I'm just going to bed a little later and getting up a little later. I'm still getting sleep. I'm still getting things done. And I just realized I could just lean into that for a while. Like, okay, this is what feels good for me right now. I'm going to stay up until 11, 11.30 if I'm really pushing it. I do. I don't try and stay up super late just because I know I generally don't do good with that. But that's still later than I was getting in bed, which was like 9, 9.30. So staying up and then just sleeping in a little later. Still making sure I'm doing my breakfast in the morning and doing a short meditation. But because of my energy, I've actually been doing longer meditations at night because I feel like I'm paying attention more. And in the morning, I just do some short breathing to kind of start the day. But it's been just a week of leaning into it. And I just stayed up a couple of nights when I felt like I could work on stuff. I just am making sure to get enough sleep. That's the thing I'm still paying attention to. But it is wild how much pressure I was putting on myself because I wasn't this thing anymore. It's so mundane. I mean, being a morning person or a night owl or vacillating between the two, I was so attached to it and it is so ridiculous, but it was a real thing that was causing me stress and making me tell people and myself, I'm not myself. This isn't me. Something's wrong. Versus just being like, whoa, dude, your body's been through a lot and it's just adjusting. And here's where we're at right now. I slowly hope to go back to being more of a morning person because I still do think I'm more productive and I feel like that is um, good for me, but not right now. It's just not good for me right now. So for now, I'm going to record some episodes late or work on some things late when I'm feeling really creative. And then if I get up and do a little more in the morning, that's great. But if not, I'm going to allow myself to rest. Because what was happening is my stress around sleep was then giving me anxiety about sleep. It was then causing me to actually be really stressed out about the whole situation, which is a really ugly spiral about, oh, now you're not going to get enough sleep, and now you're going to bed late, and blah, 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 blah. And then your mind races, and then it's two in the morning, and you have no idea how you got there. So what other things, I want you to think about it, because I'm sure there will be many more to come for me and for all of us. What things like this could you just like ease up on yourself? Like what thing in life right now could you just judge yourself a little less And then just ultimately make your life easier and make yourself less stressed out. This thing that you're attached to that doesn't need to be attached to you anymore. Like, I don't know, the morning person night thing. Or I'm a person who likes this or doesn't like this. Or I'm a person who does this or doesn't do this. Like those things shift and adapt and change. And it's still you. It's still me. It's just adapting to all the other factors. Like when I had listed those things that I was dealing with for the last year, that's a lot, you know, that's a lot. I have been privileged and lucky enough up to this point to not have that many things go wrong, domino effect style. And I did and I'm here and it's fine. And ultimately, I'll be great. But that is a lot. Like I need to just give myself some credit for being like, damn girl, you got through it. And here's something that was altered because of it. Okay, I go to bed a little later. That's okay. That's not hurting anything. As long as I can still feel healthy and I'm still eating, I'm still drinking water, I am still getting sleep, I'm still moving my body in some way. If those things are all consistent, which for the most part they are, then the sleep is okay. Now, I don't want to say like, it doesn't matter if your sleep's a little messed up or if you're staying up till two in the morning, because that's not what I mean. It has to fit into that larger system of health that makes sense for you right now. But just think of something you can judge yourself a little less on 
today as you're listening to this and moving forward because it will probably set you free from some bullshit that you set for yourself. Thanks for listening to another episode of Consciously Clueless. If you're enjoying this podcast, hit subscribe wherever you're listening. If you want to help me get this into the ears of more listeners, send it to a friend, text it to a family member, share on social media, whatever you can do really helps me out. If you haven't yet, head over to patreon.com slash consciously Carly and see what I'm up to over there. And finally, head to Apple Podcasts, leave a review, and I might read your review on air. Until next time.